sometimes you've got to call your baby ugly. Guys, Kim here from Your Social Voice. Don't worry, I am not picking on your child. I'm so, sure they are beautiful uh, or handsome, whichever one they might be. But what I want to talk about today is why sometimes you really need to assess your offers and if they are bad, you've got to say so or you've got to have someone telling you so. Because so often, the biggest problem that I see when people come to me and go, Kim, my marketing's not working is because they have an ugly baby, because they have an offer that sucks. Now, it's not a, as I said, it's not saying that your baby's ugly, but most of the time what it means is that you've got to reposition and redevelop your offer. Because if you have had success in the past, that means that you should be able to have success again, but you just need to rework and reposition what you're doing. Now, I'll give you a um, example in just a moment using a live event. But, you know, why is it important to identify if you have an ugly baby or an offer that sucks? Because it is costing you money is the long and the short of it, right? Every single day that you're running traffic to an offer that, that sucks, then you're gonna be losing money because here's the reason why that, you know, this is really important is because most of the time you are getting leads. Most of the time it works. However, it could be working much better, right? And this is why it's so important to identify when you have an offer that sucks because and this is like, it's hidden, right? It's ugly hidden in plain sight, is that it actually starts working. It gets you results, but not as good as the results that it should. So you have to then reposition and repackage it. So I'll give you an example, and this is really how you go about it. If you have a live event, let's just say a free live event, already it's a little bit hard for people to commit to going to a free live event because everyone runs them, they do them all the time. Now, if you look at what the offer is, how to run Facebook ads for your small business, come to my free live event. It sucks, right? That's an ugly baby versus something that is much more, um, I'll say, pretty, more sexy, a better offer, something that is positioned more effectively to get the person's attention, right? So this is where we normally run through our NOC method. I've done plenty of videos on this before, which is the niche, the offer, and the copy. So if you think about the niche, right? Let's just say it's small business owners. Small business owners in Perth, who are doing under $500,000, right? And this is how we reposition that ugly sounding offer, that ugly baby over here, that offer that sucks to something that is effective. Because guess what? You're still gonna have people register for this event, just not many and it's gonna be expensive. So join me for our free live workshop where we share how business owners under $500,000 are adding over 75 leads per week to their business using Facebook. That is much more effective because number one, it calls out the niche. Number two, it's specific. These are the keys to having an offer that actually works is specificity. That hook at the beginning needs to be irresistible. They need to know that you know what you're doing and that you work for their niche because so many people will put out an offer out there that sucks and it's not talking to any one person because they want to work with everybody. They want to work with everyone because oh, what happens if I don't work with everyone, I'm going to lose my money. No, you're not because it's a marketing campaign. It's not your business, right? It's not your business that is the one that can only work with a certain type of people. For a marketing campaign, it needs to be specific. And this is why most people's offers suck, is because they don't think about it in this way. They don't think about how they can position it for that certain niche, making sure that it's irresistible, there's specificity, there's actual case study and proven data in what they say. Like I just went and um, saw someone yesterday that had a brilliant case study Right, a brilliant case study that wasn't used in the hook or the headline of their offer. It was like, come to my free event using Facebook and it's like, actually, we've helped clients generate over $15 million in sales using our specific marketing strategies. That is much more attractive, right? So a lot of the times it can be hard though because you can't read the label when you're inside the bottle. Right, you can't see the forest through the trees. You have to be able to step outside of it. And sometimes it does take the need of someone else looking at that for you. Sometimes it does take the need for you to step outside and get some advice so that you can identify if you have an ugly baby or not. Right, and that is so, so, so important. And it will literally be the difference between paying $10 per elite, $60 per elite, right? $20 in event registration, $100 in event registration. Every single one of these things that I'm sharing has a real world impact because if you can make your offer more specific, you can make it more attractive, you can give them the promise. What is the big promise of working with you? 
I guarantee you that your results will improve. This is without us changing any of your targeting, any of your creative, all we're doing is changing one line, which is the headline of your offer, and really what the big promise is. Then you will see tremendous results. You'll see a tremendous improvement, and it's all by doing that. So what I want you to start thinking about is of your offer, of what you put out to the marketplace, what you want to help them achieve, what is the big promise? What is the big hook that's going to catch that fish? Right? Because if the bait is bad, people, the fish isn't going to jump on the hook. Right? If the baby is ugly, you've got to say so. If the offer sucks, you need to know that the offer sucks. And this is literally what I spend 99% of my time on is going through and identifying this for clients. I'll give you another example. We had our mogul training call today. We have a, a program called our mogul system. I was on the training call with guys and I was like, okay, great. What is the offer that you're putting out there? They told it to me, I was like, kind of sucks. And I asked them, and this is what you should ask yourself. Would you opt in or go through this funnel? Would you opt in or take out this offer? Would you click on this ad? Not really. Okay, well then why are we promoting this out? Why are we wasting money? A lot of the time people also, what they do is they tend to think of a Facebook ad different to any other form of advertising. If you're about to run a radio ad, a TV ad, if you were about to put up a billboard, you would be thinking about it and you'd be going through it with a fine tooth comb, but because it's Facebook, oh, I'm just gonna chuck it up, see what happens. It's still advertising, it's still marketing. So you need to treat it with a different level of respect to ensure that you get the best results possible. Because if you don't, you won't. You'll get sucky results. You have an offer that sucks. But if you can spend that time massaging that out, ensuring that it's something that's attractive, right, you will get phenomenal results. Guaranteed. Because, but you just have to put the time and energy and effort in to get to that point. Because if you don't, again, again, it's just going to suck. So spend the time. Don't jump straight into Facebook. Pull out a Word doc. Pull out a notepad. Start writing down ideas. What's the big promise? How are you going to help people? And is it irresistible? Because these guys are working in the diet realm and they're like, cool, get a great diet plan, click here to learn more. Sucks. And there's no value there. I was like, if I'm going to click there, are you going to sell me a diet plan? Are you giving me a diet plan for free? I'm confused. And a confused client is not a good client. A confused lead is not a good lead because they don't know what to expect. That means they won't take action. Okay, cool. Click here to get a free diet plan and a free 15 minute analysis from one of our coaches to see if this is right for you. We don't want to give you a diet plan if it's not going to work for you. So we need to have a quick 15 minute conversation to check that you're eligible to use this diet plan because we don't want to give you bad advice. Much better, much more specific, probably going to get much more leads, right? I'll report back to you guys, but I'm 99% sure that will be the case. Now, for everyone watching this, you need to go back and look at your offer. You need to go back and look at the ad that you put out to the marketplace. You need to reevaluate how you position it to them. And if you can do that, I'm not saying that that's going to be your key to unlimited leads, but it's going to be a good stepping stone. Because if you do that, then it means that it's easy to write your ad copy. It means that it's easy to target your niche. It means it's easy to put together a landing page. It means it's easy to have a sales conversation because they want what you have because you've given them a good hook a good promise and a good outcome for what they're going to be able to achieve. So if you're watching this video and you're going, okay, cool, I think I have an ugly baby, please, please, please go and reevaluate that. If you need to reach out to us, we're more than happy to help, but make sure that you do this. This is what I'm going to be talking hugely amount, uh, huge amounts about at our upcoming Certified Ballers Live event. So if you're watching this and you need help, reach out, certifiedballerslive.com.au, grab a ticket if there's any left. Uh, and we'd be more than happy to help you out. But please make sure that if you have an ugly baby, you know it. Please make sure that if your friends have ugly babies, you tell them. Figuratively, not literally. Please be kind to the babies, guys, okay? And guys, if you've liked this video, give me a little thumbs up. And if you enjoyed it, if you have a question, please drop down in the comments below. We'd really appreciate that. And as always, subscribe because we have some amazing competitions and giveaways coming up. But it's only going to be for subscribers. So if you ain't subscribed, you can't win. It's going to be pretty cool. Share more on that in the next couple of videos. Guys, until next time, I am Kim Barrett. You have all been awesome. Adios.